the Weaver and Puck, and now Medusa. Yeah. Cool. I, I feel like Ursa is a pick that surprises me because normally, most of the, more often than not, Ursa is being picked up because he counters an enemy hero. Like you're not just you're seeing Ursa picked up for the sake of having an Ursa on your team for having an aggressive core. You're seeing it because there's like a Timbersaw on the other team, or you can have a laning matchup mid where he's against like an Alchemist or something. Uh, just casually picking an Ursa is a bit unexpected. Doesn't feel like it, it's overall worth it. With that said, mid lane is currently going a little bit better. Dendi getting the help from the Rubicus helped harass mid one down fairly low here, so. All right, PyCat picked up a haste rune. <laughs> Death oh. to pile, I die. Oh, oh man. I like yeah, that pickup, right. man. They're, they're just like, nah, S -s -s screw Pi. Screw his shenanigans in the jungle. Yeah. He's messing everything up. He's out of his mana. And the general is playing uh, playing jungle half the time. That's really the, the one bright light. Here. Yeah. I'll be roster pick cat and maybe uh, on here. Stunned up. MP is going to be able to get close enough. Telekinesis actually pushes him back. They now have a stun. They're going to try and finish on Pylai Dying. Now PyCat is probably giving him up his life for this one, but at least they do get the kill. Now the orb in from the puck. Kezu will stop Bivers TP out with a coil and make that a two for one. A yeah, big part of it is just uh, the secret cores, right? You can't fight into this Ventral Spirit early on and then the puck they didn't have any ill power against, so... Everything's banked on this blink dagger of general and see if he can make the right kind of initiates to turn this thing now Bid one. Oh, man He was kind of low mana, but then he got a, a pretty decent mist snake and now they're gonna make their initiation on a multiple heroes Try and blow up mid one before he gets off the mana shield and they do get him now a second one Pile I die also goes down puppy gotta receive the shot from general here Kezu comes in and does manage to get a turnaround kill MP and Kezu Dueling up here against three RMN misses out on the crush and they will not pursue into secret more than happy with a one for three and expect that instant initiation now secret have made a smoke rotation in they got a successful scan but what they don't expect is Navi are so grouped up here and may still win it anyway the enrage goes off from pie cap but he's kind of stuck inside the trees with a bug on top of him too now coiled up all of that is going to be a little old pie cat down so uh, lineups when you're facing them it's it's not like it's a clear push that you have to defend it's always present right that chip damage is always there so even though navi are hitting these uh they're beginning to hit some of these timings for the mid game they're still losing these towers just by simple small rotations nice initiation from general a two-man call leading to the sonic wave mid one will survive through it initially but doesn't have enough mana for the stone gaze so we can't actually repel navi navi get the opportunity to just run over whatever heroes they can they've already picked up two both cores from Secret. Now they're looking for support as well. Puppy is dusted up. They're going to be able to get the Cross of Haze and the Call, so Puppy doesn't have a chance or a time lapse there. Has been phenomenal. And these these two initiations he's had, the timings when he's gone for them have been perfect. Hitting both the Venge and the Medusa there in that Blink Call was crucial. Perhaps a bit of a misplay by Secret by positioning them such that that could happen, but still fantastic from General. He will go down in mid lane, though. They're not going to... The, the first 10 minutes of this game, it was a very nice static laning phase where everyone was split apart and all their lanes were good, but now they're rare, very rapidly going to see I Lie Die here that with all these Blink Daggers coming in, Secret don't really stand a chance if they split apart. They're going to have to group up more, and that's just going to be... Cease to be the case here as Navi going the aggressive with a smoke and... Kezu. Attempted crush. Kezu's phase shift is level two, so it lasted just long enough, but he doesn't manage to get away wow, that from hurts. that intense physical damage, thanks to Kuros. Silence. You have to be a little bit careful here. There is an opportunity for an instant stun if they get a coil and swamp at the same time. Paikai could be in a bad position, but General's there with the recourse. They managed to get a call onto MP, but he's too tanky. Now mid one right in the middle of all this with the stone gaze. Paikai has to turn and fight, but there goes that Aegis, and there goes General too. The initiator's down. Our men's pushed away. That's going to be another form of initiation that's going to be missing for Na'Vi. Fortunately, they do manage to get the Ursa out with a quick blink after the Aegis revive, but they... So next Roshan becomes key for, for both teams, but much more so Na'Vi, like, who can't let Secret get the next Aegis and really want it themselves on Ursa. Like, you've got this desolated build, you're very squishy, um, your impact in a fight is very volatile. Like, the difference between doing zero damage in a fight or doing the most damage in a fight can just be one one stun or having an extra life. So getting Pycat and Aegis becomes a high priority for Na'Vi, but it's more about the how, not the if you can get it.
NP's in an awkward position here. He may be caught by these shrine rotations. Pycat's not going to turn around, though. He just keeps on marching forward. Goes for Pylai Dai because RMN's the back line. They do also catch MP, but that blade mail is going to do a decent amount of damage. They've caught Pylai Dai, but the stone case is turning them away from MP, who managed to get the swap back. Biver, a free pick off there. Pycat still trying to lay waste to the back lines there, but it's going to be coiled up and now kited around. He will end up going down here to mid one as they turn. RMN also being caught. That's where they will unfortunately not be so lucky. Like it's gonna result in nothing. RMN gets his smoke pop. Now gonna be swapped back by MP straight into a stun. Puppy activates the shrine. Thinking, ah, if the fight's coming to me, I'll need a little bit of extra HP and mana to work with. So, game continues to go south for Navi. And that Roche could potentially be taken by secret. They've got minus armor from Vengeance Wall's Weaver. Plenty of damage output to kill it if they want to. I cat's all in. Right. <laughs> got that tier two, I guess. I'm TP out now to die for his sins. Away from Navi. Navi are looking to be able to catch something because they know the Medusa is bottom, but it just can't quite get there, in fact. And Medusa's already back now. Now Medusa TPing on the shrine. Secret will begin their turn. They're going to get some combo stuns here onto Pycat. RMN's going to interrupt that one. Does manage to get a decent crush, but now caught in a two-man coil. Kezu makes sure that two of them will end up going down. Biver... Spot next to uh, next to RMN, so both the supports down from Navi. Now a push will ensue. Like no matter what happens, they're gonna be crippled. If they can defend this, they will have lost most of their map control, and it'll be hard to gain that back. General's gonna come in with his Shadow Blade, try to go for the back lines here with the Shadow Blade and the Blink Dagger, but they do have the counter vision. He managed to blink away from that one, but now swap back in. His initiation gonna be total futile now as he gets. Right click to part. RMN also going to be caught here. Nice activation of the shrine by Biver while Pycat goes for the, some of the side heroes, but can't finish any of them off. There's too many four staffs, too many swamps, too many problems for him to lock down these very mobile heroes. And now Midwan just keeps on marching forward. He's got half the mana, still has Aegis, has that solar crest to be able to work off of, and all of Secret is sitting behind him, waiting to go. Another There's time, time activated by Puppy. On a mid one, healing off a 16 oh, second cooldown. Like, yeah, just to give him like an extra 300 mana Oof. puppy time lapses. They lose Kezu though. Uh, that's something. Dendi's gonna keep on moving forward here. They kind of ignore Dendi. Just go ahead and keep on right clicking down Pycat. MP, make sure he continues to kite that hero puppy. Oh, he gets taken apart there with the enrage activated by Pycat. He does the extra damage necessary. Sonic Wave hits a little bit there. Doesn't manage to finish off MP. Pycat desperately needs to get away though. It does have a Blink Dagger up. He's good. Now they're turning around. They can actually pursue out, especially with RMN. They're going to be able to catch Pylai Die here. Mid one is going to turn and fight as best he can. But I'm not sure if mid one can though. He is going to be able to pick up one and is going to be brought down. The problem is on his second life. He's not going to yes. be receiving any help. Navi are actually going to buy back on RMN just to make sure that mid one can't actually escape. Get the Crows of Haze and Pycatch just waiting and waiting and waiting until he can make his initiation. General almost dies here, but the Shadow Blade activated. Now the Enrage with the damage coming in. Mid one pops a Manta. Maybe he can still pick up a couple more kills here. General gets the call. He gets one. Ooh. He was so close to picking up two or three more. He almost won before the rest of Navi. And just go on the Medusa, right? He's got to get the back line. That's been a problem for most yeah. of Navi. It's why these smoke initiations are oftentimes the most successful. Not sure if this one's going to be, though. They're going to go on a Pile I Die first. Swap back. My MP's right in the middle of all these heroes. So is Midwan, though. He immediately goes and targets General first with all this damage. Good Sonic Wave. The back lines. Pycat does manage to kill Pile I Die. He now focuses on Kezu. Can't quite get him, though. Too mobile. And he's now locked in by the Dream Coil. Our men tries to come in, give him some relief. The crush comes in a bit too late, though. 70 seconds on the clock for Pycat. RMN, a similar scenario here. General comes in with the Blade Belt, does manage to finish off MP, and mid one's running out of mana. But do they have the damage to finish him off? A little bit more of a juke, and they get him. Finally, General Buds managed to bring him down with the Culling Blade. They're going to pursue for more now with the Shadow Blade and Blink Dagger. I think, so. I think most of the time, enemy team play uh, around the Stone Gaze enough that you can't, uh, you can't ever level that thinking you're able yeah. to reliably get... Yeah, and one second, it's not, like, from three to four seconds isn't, like, a game changer necessarily, whereas 25% lifesteal from zero, that's potentially gonna to turn around a fight in your favor, so. 
We'll see how secret they're looking to siege into an Aegis. I and mean, that really shows how confident they feel their position is. Well, those lightning procs are kind of rough. They are going to start going onto the Queen of Pain here. Locked in Scythe of Ice as well as the Coil. And he is going to get a helpful four staff there from Biver. And they activate the Shrine as well. They're taking receiving so much damage from mid one. And his Dusa with the Bouncing Lightning and all the Split Shot. They're all dropping low here. They need to activate another Shrine. Going to throw back another Medusa Illusion into the real one. But it doesn't save Biver's life. He's now down for 50 seconds. And Secret has have a numbers advantage. General needs to even this out. He needs to find the right kind of initiation. They're going to start going on to him with Pycat, but Jesus, look at him. He doesn't do anything, and mid one just rips him apart. Now, RMN somehow gets caught in the stone gaze. Pycat comes back, but they're scotting uh... up. They're easily going to be able to kite around this carry, and I think Navi, it's time to say goodnight for game one. Yeah. They're down with three heroes. No buyback. That dude should just, like, walked in, fighting into an Aegis, fighting with cheese. Just... That was 1v5-ing with Bloodlust, with Lotus Orb. You can't touch mid one. You've, you've got to find a way to get the back lines. When he's got all these buffs on him, there is absolutely nothing you can do. The time lapse is sitting behind him, and I feel like Na'Vi. I mean, the, the vision game and their position was such that mid one was in their face, and they couldn't get past. Really, really well, well closed up.